With a lot of families preparing for spring break, it is no secret a lot of us have vacation on the mind. Even celebrities are enjoying their springtime vacation, some of them right here in southwest Florida. Did you hear Taylor Swift has fallen in love with Sanibel Island? This is a picture she just recently posted on Facebook, relaxing on a tropical island with her boyfriend, Calvin Harris. Not sure where she is here, but rumors have been going crazy that the mega pop star is looking at property on Sanibel Island. But unfortunately, we have to put the kibosh on that. After doing a little research, the site that originally posted that wannabe fact is in fact a fantasy news site. All news articles on headlinebrief.com, they say, are satire and pure fantasy. Darn. But one celebrity was indeed just recently confirmed to be vacationing here in Southwest Florida. The one and only Miss Paula Dean was celebrating her anniversary with her husband on Pine Island and Matt Lachey. This is a selfie that was taken with a waitress on Matt Lachey. All right, she was reportedly staying at Tarpon Lodge, and that, of course, is a place we love and have featured on our show many times. In fact, we thought it was a perfect time to showcase one of the most unique restaurants nearby. In fact, you need a boat to get there, though, but we promise the extra effort is worth it. Forget a car, you'll need a boat, seaplane, or helicopter. But trust us, the extra effort is worth it. Well, I think the ride out is, you know, half the experience, right? Yeah. It's fantastic and we're lucky to have uh, some just great nature around us. The dolphins mm -hmm. are pretty common. It's almost as if they're waiting for the cameras to show up to jump in the wakes and do those kind of things. The restaurant, nicknamed the Dollar Bill Bar, has been around since the 40s, but the Wells family took it over in the 70s. Rob actually grew up on the island, but it wasn't until he was older that he truly appreciated what a treasure this place is. And then I got to college and I had buddies say, wait a minute, your dad's got a, like a bar or restaurant that's on an <laughs> island that's like a Jimmy Buffett kind of thing? We got to go check that out. And I started realizing maybe I was luckier than I thought. <laughs> yes, it does have a Jimmy Buffett feel and for good reason. Just try their cabbage key cheeseburger and listen to the rumors. That's what they say. That's uh -huh. he was here and then he went home and wrote the song, supposedly. Yeah. So what do you think? Sure. What do you think of your cheeseburger in paradise? It is awesome. I've always enjoyed that rumor. The real story on the Jimmy Buffett. Jimmy Buffett's sister lived on Boca Grande, and uh, so he would come in a pretty good amount, and he wanted to uh, take care of the staff that were serving him here. The staff went up there, he came in, he did this show, and then when he got to the cheeseburger uh, part, he dedicated the song to the staff at Cabbage Key. And from there, the rest is history. It seems like it spread like wildfire. <laughs> Something else spreading like wildfire? All those dollar bills. Back when a dollar bought you more than it buys you today, you would, uh, these, these old salty pirates would write their name and they would pin it up on the wall and they would say, nobody touches it, it's got my name on it. And so if they came back in, they didn't have any money, they could take their dollar off the wall and they could use it to pay. The tradition grew over time and now there are between 60 and $70,000 hanging on the walls. About 15 to 20,000 fall off every year and we donate those to local charities and so it's been kind of a fun way for people to leave their mark and try to come back year after year and see if they can find their dollar bill again. Yes, just one of the many reasons people keep coming back to Cabbage Key. Oh, the burgers are good there. All right, still to come, our resident movie critic rises with the dawn of justice and checks in for her take on one of the most anticipated movies of the summer. Stay down. If I wanted it, you'd be dead already. Oh, now them is fighting words. Batman versus Superman. Dawn of Justice flying onto the screen in just a few minutes. Stay with us.